Uh, Newsy just kind of was re referencing the Carolina game and taking away some of the positives. From you guys, what did you guys see despite the final score? Yeah, I think our second period wasn't wasn't good enough. It wasn't terrible, but I, I think we obviously some mistakes end up in our net. Um, we had our chance to score. We had we had a couple of breakaways, some some really good looks, and we did it. I think if we we score a couple early, I think that game's it's going to be different. But also, I think I think we're just taking a step a step forward in our game. Um, I know we we keep we keep working on we keep playing this way. We're gonna get we're gonna get results, and I think we're gonna trust that. Obviously, there's things we're gonna do better and. Like every game, but um, I, I like the way we're trying to. News has talked a lot about too, just about embracing this time of the year and, and these high stakes games. How are you guys kind of handling the stakes and um, just navigating that process? Yeah, it, I think I think these games are fun. Um, you just can't wait to can't wait for the puck drop. I think the whole game day game day you just wanna you just wanna go out and play. You're just waiting for that, for that game to happen. Um, and it's fun times. I think. I think guys enjoy it. You can you can feel it feel it in the room. Um, every game matters so much, and I think that's the biggest thing. We just want to make sure make sure we can we can enjoy it. Obviously, we're gonna push. We're gonna we're gonna compete, but same time same time you gotta you gotta make sure you have you have a little bit of fun out there too. Florida Clemson is one of the toughest defensive teams in the league. Offensively, what's kind of your guys' focus heading into tomorrow's game? I think the same challenge as we had yesterday. I think that's. Also, we gotta get we gotta get more pucks on that. We gotta get more uh, more traffic in there. Uh, I think we could spend a little more time in offensive zone. Um, that's a big part. Uh, but like you said, it, uh, last night we played a really good defensive team. Tomorrow we're gonna play a good one again. Uh, those are good challenges. I think we just gotta embrace it. Last one for me. You're one of the guys that has playoff postseason experience in this group. A lot of these younger guys are navigating this for the first time. How are they? Do you see them leaning on the older, experienced guys like yourself, or how is that kind of dynamic going? In the I think we have a great group of guys. It doesn't matter, young, young or older. I, I think these guys, everybody wants to win. You can feel it. You can feel it. I think you. I felt it the whole time. Two years I've been here now. Um, I think the hunger is there. Um, obviously, these games get 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 intense and uh, can be a little hectic sometimes. So, I think some of the older guys are kind of calms down a little bit in those, in those moments and just trust the, trust the way we play. Just go back to our game and play that way. Thanks, Oli. Yep. Uh, a couple guys didn't skate. Uh, how's, how's everybody? Uh, still dealing with something going through the team there. Uh, Dylan was more maintenance state tomorrow. Dylan will be available for us. Uh, good sign that Zarnik skated today. And um, we'll just wait on a couple other guys there. Patrick B. Kane being one of them. I whether he can go to ball. So he questionable. I mean, he's probably, he yeah, he's yeah. questionable. Be a good way to put him. Yes. Are you going back with Alex and that or uh, uh, Alex Lyon and that? Yes, tomorrow. Yes. I noticed you standing on the bench for part of practice. Like, what do you what do you look for? Uh, well, this is this is a tough skate in that it's a unique situation. We play at noon tomorrow. We just we needed some touches and reps. So it was maybe a morning skate plus, so a little more intensity. Um, we just thought, you know, some habits that we want to work on with the puck, but it's just it was important to get some reps and touches. Unique part of the schedule where you play, you travel, come into a new city, and you play a new world. It's just unique. Um, so I want to take advantage of that in practice today. When egregious mistakes keep happening at, at such a crucial point in the season, what what can you as a coach yeah, do? Yeah, I think be careful with egregious mistakes. You know, we had a breakaway yesterday. That's an egregious mistake on one of the best teams in the league, but uh, it didn't go in the net. Unfortunately, some of our quote-unquote egregious mistakes aren't up in their net. You know, you still look through that game last night. We actually have chanced them five on five. Obviously, they scored on their power play. So you're just going to continue growing those areas. We had a missed track, which we usually hit. You know, we had seven others in that night that we didn't. Uh, that was a, a big moment. I just think it's a good learning lesson for our group that every play is really, really important this time of year. And, Against these top teams, um, you need every play. Is it, uh, or what's the degree of concern that it's a learning lesson, and you know there's not much school semester nope, not left? No, not much, not much runway left. Uh, but fortunately, in the message post game last night is uh, keep building. I liked our third period. I asked the guys to stay with it, try to build something in the third. We had a very strong third period, um, and we've got some help in the league last night, which. Um, is the reality of where we're at in the moment, and uh, we have a really tough opponent, um, and 
on the road, and we got to find a way uh, to get some points. It's only going to be done with a good team game. Uh, you know, four straight games without getting a goal in the first, uh, limiting uh, a lot of great eight chances in the first. You know, we're giving ourselves a chance. Uh, now we got to put a little more complete with our game and get some results. As the season winds down, does, do you find you, the coaching staff kind of emphasizing different things, or how does that style no, change? No, it's just similar. It's, I mean, you're, you're, you're still building, growing some things in your game. What's important to us, um, habits within our game. You know, you, Helene just alluded to you know a couple of missed plays uh, there. Uh, yeah, you're continually building those game. Uh, D zone was good last night. We had a breakdown end up in the back of our net. So um, I think it's the, what's important to us habits within our game that are important to us to to help our team game. You talked about a little too last night, just the offensive spark. What are you maybe trying to see from that? Yeah, just we obviously we've been shut out two of our last three games. A little credit to some goaltending performance by Saros and. And Anderson, but when you're playing elite goalies like that, that are in, you can tell they're seeing it. You probably just got to get more to the net, be a little harder around him. And it's going to be the same thing. We're, we'll get Bob tomorrow, and we've struggled with Bob. Uh, he's a world class goalie. Uh, any goalie at the NHL level, especially elite goalies, you just got to take away a little more of his time and space. Derek, is there a way to, uh, I don't know, do you need to get the message across to still? enjoy themselves. I mean, this is I think so. an incredible opportunity. Yeah, I don't, still, I don't, and not I, let I, the stress of it. I don't think this is a, uh, there's moments our intensity as a group and the staff picks up, but this isn't uh, throw tables, bang water bottles. Um, it's, it's keep pointing things out. And again, a little, I wouldn't say frustrating, but if you look back at our recent stretch, uh, Obviously, we're very good against the Islanders at home. We were excellent in a lot of ways. Unfortunately, lost one nothing on the road. The Capitals game, that's again a pretty good team game. You know, Great A's are 13 to three in our favor. We take that any night. Got a point. And last night, um, again, I wouldn't say a step back, but um, we got their A game, and there were some pushes in the second. We didn't handle that well, but. Again, I, th I think there's some positives in their game. We just got to keep finding those positives, build off that even a little bit more, and try to get some results. I guess that's what I mean. Like enjoy, like the I opportunity so. is still very I, much there. I think, there, like, but, yeah, we, we wanted to be in this situation. It's a growth, learning situation to be in this situation. There's going to be ups and downs with it. I think there's a little frustration you know, with the lack of results. Um, lately uh, but at the same time of course these guys are excited to be in moments in games like this thanks Nancy.